down. And you got to think, which is a testament to the to the late great Prince's playerism because he had both of them. So I'm like, oh, I know. Now, yeah, what, I'm gonna tell you something. Prince... I'm gonna tell you something. You huh. may you may not know. You know Go when ahead. when Prince met Vanity. You know who he met her through? Rick who James. Did? Rick James. Who? Prince bumped Vanity from Rick James. On some Tim. That's James. why. I... <laughs> now, now y'all got. Now maybe y'all can her. answer this question. He bumped her from because... Rick James, and that's why every. That's why Rick James and Prince never talked after that after that meeting there. Okay. Because Prince, okay, because cause, cause Rick James wanted her to be the head, the lead singer for the Mary Jane Girls. But when Prince seen her, he's like, "Yo, Vanity Six. <laughs> but he first wanted to call her Vagina Six. <laughs> Prince about that, you know what I mean? Prince about my dad. Well, yeah, man. I'm just showing you just a little background from a background. I'm telling you, man, like. For real talk, like, Prince bumped her from Rick James. That's why Prince and Rick James never got along, because back and forth, they were just trying to bump each other's chicks. Well, women create words, bro. But you got to remember, those two guys, guys are geniuses. Should have known it had to be about a woman. Yeah. Should have known it was a woman. But, but, you know, but, you know, but, you know, guys, I'd always heard that story about Rick in terms of when he would always try to shade Prince, because he always tried to say Prince won't as good as, Everybody said he was or he thought he was. I never really understood it because I just looked at it from a perspective because you figure Rick was already around in the early 70s and, you know, Prince came along in the late 70s, you know, so yeah, Prince was like that next way. Right, and, and Rick James was doing his thing from, what, 74, 75? <laughs> little, little Red yeah. Corvette, that trip was in 79. No, Little Red Corvette's in 80. No, that, that was in 80. That was, that was little Red Corvette? 80. Yeah, that was like 80, That's like 84, 84 85. 85. Wasn't that his first joint? Yeah, I think that was off no, Sino the sir. Times, I believe. She was wrote that. Prince King, was that, that off, was that off 1999 or Sino the oh, Times? Yeah. I think Prince that was Prince around Sino the Times, I think. Yeah, I think that was Sino the Times, I believe, was 85. Yeah, I think that was 85. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, but... um. But yeah, but usually it's about a woman, man. I mean, I was like, <laughs> it had to be something for them to cause that rip. And I'm like, look, if, if women could break up the mega power, you know it's going to break up Rick and Prince. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm telling you, them brothers never liked each other from the beginning. Because you remember, like, you remember, like your, boy, your boy Rick, he from Detroit. He, he he from the D, so he moving different. You know what I'm saying? Like, And Prince, just because Prince was wearing them blouses and shit, don't think that Prince would have bust your ass in some basketball or kick your ass. That dude could fight. Yeah, but when you were in high heels, all those, you must be able to fight. Bro. Yo, all those stories <laughs> that Charlie Murphy told on, on, on Dave Chappelle's show, it's real stories, man. <laughs> those are not fake yeah. stories. Those are actual, factual stories. Yeah. And, you know, I heard the story from Prince's former basketball coach in high school where they talked about Prince, where he talked about Prince. He's like, he's like, y'all don't understand. Like, that dude really could have gone pro if he wanted. Yeah, you know, Prince uh, could ball, man. <laughs> yeah, they was like, he's like, he was pretty really good. You know, and, of course, you I know, know Rick, you know. And I, After Purple mm-hmm. Rain, I never underestimated Prince because the way he had all them bad bees up in that, in, in, in that movie, come on, man. I've never seen Prince with an ugly girl in my life. Kind of hard, man. Huh? Prince too pretty to be rocked with an ugly chick. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I mean, and you know, the ugly girl in that guy's presence. And you know you got to be yeah. cold for her. You know you know, Prince had to be cold for to make Apollonia jump in that cold-ass lake. Oh, oh, she was just trying to get her shine. She would have she jumped in sewer water if she had to. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, 1984. <laughs> 1984, you were the biggest artist in the world, and you're doing a movie, and that movie's a classic right now. She never did a movie after that. You don't need to when you have a classic like that. You're going to get paid. No doubt. Well, hopefully you should get some residuals, because you know Prince, that, you know Prince how he works. Hey, man. That's how they represent Prince is a mastermind when it comes to that money. That's how they issue it back in those days. You know, but you know, guys, in terms,